Alrighty, you guys know what time it is. It's time for some more Yusuko because, like, Yusuko is Yusuko. Hello, everybody, I'm Prar, and today we're gonna be talking about Swappity Swap from the previous February Silver Contest. It's gonna be epic. By the way, Yusuko scores are out on the website. You can just log in with your ID and then put in your password and then go to Student Corner and then go to View Exam Scores and you should be Gucci. I personally think that the test was really, really hard this year. So don't feel too bad if you didn't make it, like, honestly, they should be more clear on what you need to study, because that test was nasty. But anyways, we don't have to worry about Yusuko, okay? Yusuko is our true love, we don't have to worry about any of the other Olympiads, who cares? We got Yusuko. Also, I hope that Amy went well for you guys, because I'm probably posting this on the day of Amy, so, yeah. But Yusuko, 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 let's focus. Alrighty, so, Farmer John's N cow, they're standing in a line, the I cow. On the left hand, the label I for each. I one is less than equal to I, less than equal to N. Farmer John has come up with a new morning exercise routine. Dang, even I don't exercise, okay? He has given the cows M pairs of integers, left, right, left, right, blah, blah, where, okay? He then tells the cows to repeat the following M says process exactly K times. For each, I is equal to 1 to N. So sequence, okay, so then you reverse the order. After the cows have repeated this process exactly K times, please output the label. Okay, so you basically want to repeat this subsequence reversal nonsense and see what it ends up as okay and we're given that n is 10 to the 5 so we can't do too big of stuff how big is k wait what oh k is 10 to the 9 times okay oh but m is less than 100 bro okay okay so we could do nm i think the solution is going to be nm because that's like the only thing we could possibly do maybe n log n m no that's too complicated but something around it, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm pretty sure, like, a good way to do this is just link the list, right? Is that a thing? So let's say we have, like, we have a head cow, or we have a start, and then it's linked to our first cow, which is a seven, linked to our second cow, which is a two, linked to our second cow, which is two, and then the end. Okay, so our first thing, wait, what? Two, five, what does that mean? Wait, what? N, M, and K. Oh, 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 oh. So, N is the number of cows that are 1 to N. Okay, so that's not the actual ID of the cow. Wait. And then what's M? M is the number, okay, and then K is how many times it's repeated. Okay. So, basically, you have um, start, and then you go attach it to the 1, and then the 1 ahead of the 2, and so on. I'm pretty sure swapping and linked list is really fast, which is why I'm doing linked list. And then... Let's say we want to swap 2 and 5, so 2 would be, wait, so it's 1, 2, yeah, so we swap from here, wait, what? This is position 2, and this is position 5, but if those switch, then why is 2 here? Question mark. Oh, so it does work that way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, the first time you swap it, right, you want to swap from here all the way to here. So basically, you erase this arrow, you draw it over here, then you erase this arrow and you draw it over here. And with Blamo, you swap the entire like middle part and it's back to a linked list that we can work with. The only problem with that is that to get, find the edge that you're supposed to replace, you have to go through the entire array though. So that's not gonna work. Wait, straight up? Why can't we just do it directly? Okay, why don't we just like sit do this? Okay, wait. So we're swapping, let's just say it's an array, right? This is an array one to seven. Then we just literally just swap these and then that could take a maximum of n time, right? Because that's if you swap the entire thing. And then if we only do that m times, that takes only like, how long? That only takes n times m. So that's fine, we could just do that. So we swap the first thing, we get 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 6, 7, and then we want the next one, 3 and 7. So it's from here to here, and we swap that. 1, 5, 7, 6, 2, 3, 4. Okay, but this is not our final answer, right? We want to find it after we apply k time, so that's the hard part. But we do not have to apply all the m things over and over again. We just have to apply from here to here. We, we, we don't care about the intermediate step. So we know that every time we apply all the m things, it goes from here to here. So we want to make it go from here to here k time. Okay, so now we have this. So if we apply it a second time, then basically 1 stays in 1. The second position comes from the fifth position, so the two goes here. The third thing comes from the seventh position, so four, and then the fourth thing comes from the sixth position, fifth thing from the second position, and then third position, and then fourth position. And that gives us our answer, okay. 
But how do we do that fast? Because K is 10 to the 9. So you literally can't even do an O of K time. That's too slow. So we have to do something mod. The mod. But basically, if you apply it n times, it has to go back to its original thing, right? If you apply it n times, that's not necessarily true though. Well, you can kind of represent it as a graph, right? So let's see how this transformation maps to a graph. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then basically, the 1 goes to itself, the 5 goes to the 2, second position, the... the 7 goes to the 3 position, 6 goes to the 4 position, the 2 goes to the 5 position. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the 3 goes to the 7 position. No. Wait, what? Yeah, 3 goes to the 6 position, and then the 4 goes to the 7 position. So basically, we have two, we have like three cycles, right? This cycle's over here, um, this cycle's over here and this cycle is over here. And the biggest of these cycles could be possibly n. So then we basically had to treat each cycle separately. Oh, yeah. So basically we go through it, right? We look at one, right? It's, it goes back to one, so we found a cycle. Now our cycle has length one, right? So we take k mod one, which is zero. So it's always gonna be the same thing, so one. Okay, let's go to five. Five goes to the second position goes to the fifth position, which goes back to the second position. So it has length two. So we take k mod two, and if it's one, then like the five and the two are swapped, right? However, if it's zero mod two, then it's back in its original position with two before the five. And then if it's a uh, three length or length four, because we know that seven is in the length four cycle, because so three, four, six, and seven are all in the same cycle then we take k mod 4, and then based on that, we apply the rotation that many times. And then this should work. Okay, let's go it up, let's do it. Rapple dot it. Oh bro, did I link clock tree the thing? Okay, I'll link it after this. Plushy testy synth. What the? Okay, okay, okay. Good names, Rapple, good names. All right, what's it called swap? All right, so we gotta fin the nm and k, and then Oops, we gotta define the NMK. Dude, I know how to code, I swear. In NMK. Alrighty, and then we gotta see in all our left and right. Well, do we have to do our left and right? Well, okay, so we'll basically start with our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 array, and then we'll edit it as we get our different intervals. So int a 100,000. And one. Okay. And then for int i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. We basically have that a, I don't know, we should do 1 to n, so it's less confusing. Uh, a i is equal to i, epic. And then we'll do our position. So before int i is equal to 0, i is less than n because that's how many intervals we have. We'll have an int l and int r, and then we'll see in both, f in both. And we'll swap them for each one. Okay, for int j is equal to 0, j is less than half of the difference between the two yeah so if they're two apart then you do two and then over two give you one okay that makes sense but one that there's three apart between them so it's zero and three so you want to swap it'll be three over two so you want okay so it's plus one and then over two and then j plus plus okay so that's how many times you have to swap things and basically we'll just say we'll swap the opposite ends each time so We'll have an int temp is equal to a l plus j and then we'll say a l plus j is equal to a l r minus j and then a r minus j is equal to a l plus j epic gameplay and then we just do that for each of them okay cool so now we've got in our transformation which should be stored in a and now we just have to find the cycles and then apply this. Wait, how does this work? So, 6 moves to this. Okay. So basically the number in a i is the number that moves into i after the transformation. Okay. So we're just going to go through it for int i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. And then int start is equal to i. And then while, or actually, or int start is equal to i. 
Well, star did not equal, oh wait, AI. And then we'll have a vector thing where this stuff has come from. So right now we'll have vector int, oh, we gotta include vector. So vector int numbers. Okay, let's try to make this more descriptive. What are we trying to do exactly? We're trying to store the cycle, so cycle, okay. So while start is not equal to i, then we basically do cycle, wait, let's first push back i, cycle dot push back i. Okay, and then while it's not, we push back start, and then start is equal to a of start. And we should keep track, no, but this will keep track of the size. Okay, so then we basically take the mod, int mod is equal to k mod uh, cycle dot size. So that's gonna be how big a uh, cycle is. And that's basically how many times you had to rotate it, right? So if we only, if we have mod one, right? Then we only apply the, the transformation once. So in that case, we basically take the first thing in the cycle is gonna be like our first index, right? So our first index come from the next thing we put in our vector because we go start from i and then we take ai, which is what is supposed to go into i if we apply it once. So basically, we should set for int i or j in um, cycle, um, we should basically say aj is equal to cycle j plus mod, and then we had a mod it cycle size. Okay. Oh no, we should do, we should just do int i, okay, yeah, let's do that. So we need the index. Ah, uh, we can't do i, ah, I'm so bad at the game. Okay, j, 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 we're doing j. I just take out this so we have more space. Okay, j, and then a of cycle, cycle j, which will be i for our first one, and then we want to put in our index plus our mod, and then mod our cycle size so it doesn't go over, it loops around, okay. And then this, our a should just end up with our final answer. So we basically just do, oh wait, we had to keep track of which ones we've already visited so we don't redo the same work over and over again. So int, I mean a bool, visited, and then 1001. Is that the right number there? Yes. Okay, does it make it clear? Whenever we like put something in a cycle, we'll mark it as visited so we don't have to check whether it's in the cycle again. So we'll just do that. If not visited um, i, then we do all this nonsense. And then we also set it as visited. We say visited i equals to true, and then in here we do visited start equals true. Okay. And then for int i equals zero, i plus an m, we just print it out. Epic gameplay, and then we need end up. Okay. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Let's go. This probably won't work, but we're gonna try it. So we'll copy paste it up. Oh, I it. Ah! Swap dot in. Epic gameplay, let's do it. Okay. And then we run it and it's gonna error out and we're gonna be proud of it. Whoops, yep. Nice. The heck? Oh, why am I fitting out? Bruh. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. I know how to write B plus plus, bro. Oh, what? Did it actually work? No, it didn't. Wait, what? Yeah, well, it just went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so, well, first off, this has to go from 1 to n. Oh, and this has to go from 1 to n. But that, I doubt that's gonna work still. Yeah, why well, this is 1, okay, so does it just not do any of this stuff? So, in start is equal to ai, okay. Does this work? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just said, okay, okay. This has to be temp, okay. So, actually swap stuff. What? Hold up. Why don't we print it out after it's been swapped? Wait, we need to do that. Ah, did not mean to open that. Okay, so we'll just put this over here. And it'll see how it's been. Wait, what? Did it not, not edit it? Oh, oh, bruh, the arm, oh my god, what are these mistakes? Okay, now it's working. Does this? 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 6. 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. Epic! Okay, let's test it. Alright, so we basically got to download. Can we download? Oh, we can't download individual. Oh, let's log in. Alright, you ready for this epic gameplay? This is gonna be so epic gameplay. I say epic too much, but I'm proud of it. Okay, where is this? Alright. Moment of death. Is that actually gonna work? But it's not gonna work. Oh! 
Let's go. Very nice. We are the best. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm not that cool. Okay, sorry about that. But anyways, that was a pretty fun trial. Honestly, that was kind of cool. Not gonna lie. I did not think I was gonna get that realization, but then I was like, oh shoot, you can use cycles? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I was like so confused. How do you, what do you do with the case? 10 to the 9, bruh. But yeah, I guess you could do that. Very epic. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun for me to do that one. Epic. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. I heard some of you guys want some more Yusuko videos, so I will be doing some of those. But other than that, thank you guys for watching again, and see you guys next time.